Hi guys, my name is Yogesh Prabhu and in this video we'll be talking about matrix multiplication. So I'm going to start off with some of the examples and eventually I will tell you the different aspects of the multiplication. So let's begin with the first example and the first one is over here. Okay, so let us multiply these two matrices. It's simple 2 by 2 matrices multiplied with another 2 by 2 matrices and the resultant of the multiplication let us write down over here and let's see how that works. For matrix multiplication, you have to remember one point that you have to multiply a row of the first matrix with column of the second matrix. I repeat that row of the first matrix is to be multiplied with column of the second matrix. And while you do that, you multiply the first value with the first value. Okay, first element of the row is multiplied with the first element of the column. And second element of the row is multiplied with the second element of the column. So let us multiply them and see how I write it down. It is 1 into 3 that is going to give me 3. Then this 2 is multiplied with 5, right? So it is 2 5s are 10. And then you add the resultant of product. And that's how I got this value as 3 plus 10. And that will be 13, right? And just note that this value of the resultant matrix is at first row and first column right so it is one cross one do you see how that worked out basically you multiplied the row one with the column one and that's how it is it, it gets here okay now after you do row one with the column one the next thing you will do is row one with column two and i'm sure now you can guess that if you have to multiply row one with column two it is going to be this value this is going to be one cross two see one is for the first row and now this would be second column so now this value this position is 1 cross 2. So see how I write it down. This is going to be, uh, let us multiply 1 to the first row with the second column. We multiply first element with the first element, 1 into 2 and 2 with the 4. So let me undo all this and write it down. 1, 1 into 2 would give me 2 and 2 with 4 will give me 8. So that's 2 plus 8 and that's the element at 1 cross 2. Alright, so once you get these two, so we multiplied already with the first row with both the columns, right? Now we will do the second row with both the columns again. Now how will that be? You multiply first row, second row with the first column first. So let's do that first. 4 threes are 12. 4 into 3 is 12. And 3 fives are 15. So you add that. And the final answer would be whatever that is. This is uh, 27, right? Then you multiply the first row or the second row with the second column and that's 2 cross 2. So the 2 cross 2 value will come here. This is 8 plus 12. right? And that's how you solve uh, the matrices. This is a simple example that we took. Now we're just going to move on to the, the second example. If you see the second example is literally the same. It is just that I have switched the matrices that this matrix comes here and this matrix comes here. And now let us multiply and see if we get the same answer. Usually when you multiply 5 with 2, the answer is 10. And even if you do 2 with 5, the answer is 10, right? So if you multiply the numbers, the order doesn't matter. The multiplication, the product operation is commutative. We know that already. But in mat matrix, it is not exactly the same. So we'll see how that works. So for that, we will solve the second question. Let's multiply the first row with the first column. Multiply rows with columns, like first row with first column and second column. So let us write that. This is going to be 3, 1s are 3 and 4 twos are 8 that is 8 plus 3 is going to be 11 that's my first value here and then multiply this row with this column that is 3 twos are 6 and 2 threes are 6 again that 6 plus 6 is 12 you can clearly see the answers are not same this was 13 and 10 right this was 13 this was 10 and the answer over here are completely different so I got the first one and then multiply this second row with the first column that would be 5 1s are 5 and 4 4s are 16 okay and that the answer is 21 and then multiply second column with the second second row with the second column that is going to be 10 times 12 and the answer is 22 right that's how we got the answer for the second one now once we complete this let's let's go on to the some more more examples i'm going to solve one more question Let's just see, we have one more question here. It's 1, 2, 2, 
this is a three by three matrix. There are three rows and three columns. So you multiply three by three matrix matrix the first one with the second one. So let us do that. The method will re still remain same. You will multiply first row with the first column, second column, third column, and those values will come here, here, and here. Okay. So let me just do that real quick. See, multiply first row with the first column first. Let's do it step by step. So one four za four, then two five za ten, then two two za four. Right, that's the first number. Then you multiply first row with the second column. So that is going to be two two za two, and uh, two two za uh, one two za two, two two za four, and the last one it would be two five za ten. So you got ten here, right? And then multiply first row with the third column here. What do you get? You get uh, five ones are five, and uh, two ones are two plus two. And two six are twelve. That's how you got the first uh, row of the resultant matrix. So you multiply row with the column, 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 right? So the first row is already done. Now you work with the second row. Multiply that with all the columns. So let's do that here. Multiply this row with this column, and then this column, and then this column. Let's do that real quick. So three fours are twelve. I'm going to solve this the whole thing. Okay, three fours are twelve. Uh, two fives are ten. This is ten. And one times two is just two. Got that one as well. So row multiplied by second column. That's going to be six plus four plus five. And second row with the third column. That's going to be fifteen plus two. That's two ones are two. And one six is six. So I got this as six. Okay. Multiply now the third row with the first column, second column, and third column. So you get three. Uh, you multiply this row with this column. So it's three four za twelve and five five za twenty five and four two za eight, right? And then row multiplied by this column, it is going to be six plus five two za ten plus four. Fives are twenty, right? And for this value here, this is clearly three cross three. What I mean by that is third row and third column. Now, if you want to solve three cross three, you have to multiply third row with the third column. So this is going to be fifteen plus five plus twenty four, okay? And then of course you can simplify and get the answer of multiplications of Two matrices. Now these two problems were pretty much straightforward. Okay, we should now look at some other questions. Now I have see the next question for you, and the next question is you you don't have uh, the same size matrices. The matrices have got different size. So if you see the third example that we have here, uh, the first matrix is three cross three. There are three rows and three columns for this one, but the second matrix is three cross two. There are three rows and two columns. And now things get a little tricky, not that difficult or anything, but we will see how we can solve this. Now we have to again follow the same procedure to get the answer. All right. So here, multiply the first row with this column. So it is one two is a two, and uh, multiply two with three. That two three is a six, and three times one is just three, right? And multiply this row with the second column. We have one more column here. So that will be five. Plus four, plus fifteen. Okay, so we've done first row multiplied with the first column and second column. Now we'll take the second row multiply with the first column and second column. See how that works. This is three to the six, and uh, three to the six and two three to the six again. Then you multiply five with one. That is five, and then multiply this this column this row with this column. That would be fifteen. Then two times two is four. Then five times five is twenty-five, right? And then multiply third row with the first and second column here. It is going to be four. Then two threes are six, and three ones are three, right? And then multiply this row with this column. This would give you ten plus. Ten plus four plus fifteen, right? And that's how we got this answer, right? 
Now, uh, the most interesting question would be the question number four. Now, this is probably the most important part of this whole discussion that when you try to multiply these two matrices, the first one here is a three cross two. There are three rows, three rows and two columns. That's three cross two. But the second matrix is three cross three. Right now, when you try to multiply, the rule is again same. How you multiply matrices is you multiply these rows with this columns, right? So when you multiply row by column, this is just not possible. So the multiplication of this type of matrix is not possible. Now, by looking at this, we really have to understand why is this multiplication not possible? Number of columns of first matrix should be same as number of rows of the second matrix. And if, only if these two are equal, only in that case, you can multiply these two matrices. So whenever you want to multiply two matrices, ensure this happens. Now, this in this case, they were equal, right? So they both of them were three. The number of columns of the first and number of rows of the second, right, were matching. Now, if you look at this example here, the number of columns, columns means vertical, right? So number of columns are two and number of rows are three. And do you see these two are not equal? And because these two are not equal, you know, that's the reason why you don't have matrix multiplication result. So now this is the point to be noted that you have to have the columns, number of columns of the first matrix equal to number of rows of the second matrix. Keep that in mind. And also you can remember one more thing that uh, once this matches the resultant, we have the answer over here because this and this is matching like three and three. Okay. And also the resultant matrix of multiplication is always three cross two. So you got this as three cross two. Do you see that? Okay. So we will do some more questions so that these things are more clear to you. So let's go to our next example. Now in this question, uh, we have the first matrix here, which is two cross two. Okay. And this matrix is two cross three, two rows and three columns. Now, if you have to multiply, you have to make sure that number of columns of the first matrix is equal to number of rows of the second matrix. And that is the case over here. So you will surely get the answer. So we'll see what answer we get. Let me draw a big matrix so that we can accommodate all the brackets and everything. Okay, let's multiply them. Multiply row with the column, column and column. Okay, let's do the row with the column first time. This is going to be this row multiplied with this column. It is two times two is two then three times five is 15, right? And then uh, two times, now you multiply this row with this column, that's two twos are four, and three threes are nine. I'm just like solving so that you get the idea, all right? And then multiply this row with this column, that would be uh, two times negative two would be minus four, and uh, three times four is 12. So we got that answer there. And then multiply this row with the column, column, and column, the f second row, with the first column. Now that would be two ones are two and then five fives are 25. All right then, multiply this row with this column. This is going to be four uh, plus 15 and then multiply this row with this column. This is minus four and uh, five fours are 20, right? And now if you again observe what I told you that the resultant matrix is always this cross this, it's two cross three. You see there are two rows and three columns. So what we got here is two cross three. Okay, now let's do the next question. Now next question we have, now I, do you see, I've just like flipped these two. So I've just like took this matrix over here and this matrix over here. And now basically you have this matrix as two cross three. There are two rows and three columns. And this matrix here is two cross two because there are two rows and two columns. And now you clearly see the number of columns of the first is not equal to number of rows of the second. And because these two are not equal, you know, this is not possible. So it's not always possible to multiply two matrices. I hope you get that point. And in this case, we just can't have the answer. We can't just multiply these two matrices. I hope you understood what I'm saying. And uh, this is about matrix multiplication. So let us uh, make a conclusion here that if you want to multiply two matrices, okay, so let's say you have uh, M cross N. M is number of rows of the first matrix, N is number of columns of the second matrix. And the second matrix uh, you have is say P cross Q. 
well you can't multiply let's let's just take it like this instead of taking it p p cross q we know that this has to be n cross say p because we know that this this and this has to be equal so let me keep both these values as n right and now they are matching so you will definitely have the resultant matrix and this resultant matrix will have the size m cross p i hope you understand what i'm saying m cross p okay now this is the uh, topic where you really need to practice more so that you get a better grip on uh, the concept of uh, matrix multiplication and uh, solve some problem and i hope you understood the whole idea and uh, thanks for watching the video